Hey guys, welcome back. So in this review of the Kotobukiya Modeling Support Goods weapon set, we've got number 10 in the line, the Multiple Shield. So as you can see, it's this big physical shield this time, and you do have like a little pistol, a little knife in there, and this part which looks like a little uh, pile driver, which I think like, kind of goes in the back of this or something. So it's sort of like an offensive and defensive use shield. You got some connection parts, things like that. So it's a little bit larger set this time. If you go around here on the back, you can see the list price for this is 900 yen. So it's going to be costing you, you know, closer to eight or ten dollars. That is, we'll see here, the different parts and things that you have included do make uh, for a lot of different cool options that you can make. So you can use this with frame arms, of course, or frame arms girl or other things as we'll experiment out in the later portion of this video. Uh, we see you get uh, just a layout of all the parts there that are going to be included. A bunch of different sections that you can put together to making the big shield or you can use the smaller sections on their own to have like just like smaller little shields like that. So you've got a lot of nice options. I won't be able to show you guys in this video everything that you can possibly make with this, but we'll take a look at some different possibilities. On the inside of here, it looks like we actually have a separate piece of paper for our instructions this time. Uh, and it's just basic parts list here and instructions. All of that, kind of how to mount the weapons and things onto the back of the shield. That looks pretty cool. How to uh, mount the shield onto your different kits and all that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but anyway, we have uh, actually two different color runners this time, which is pretty rare. Usually they're just, they're just molded in one color, unless of course there's some clear effect parts or something. But as you can see, we've got a darker gray and a lighter gray. Our A runner here is in the darker gray color, so you can see you got some nice detail around there. There's our knife part there, for example, and a bunch of different connection pieces. The B runner is also in that same color, and there's our pistol, which is just one solid piece, so that's good. No uh, seam line or anything on that. And the C runner is in this uh, lighter warm gray color here for your secondary color, which looks pretty nice. So you can see we're going to have a lot of different attachment point uh, possibilities there on the back there, it looks like, for that. So very cool. Let me go ahead and get this all put together, and then we'll try out this on some different examples. All right, so here it is, and very cool and quite substantial. So as we saw, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with this. So on the back side, I gotta admit, it looks a little ugly there. Just all the hard points are a bit unsightly. Not really a whole lot that you can do with that, except maybe if you, if you wanna like cover this up with pieces of plot plate, for example. But on the front though, it does look very cool. So you have basically a, a few main sections. Uh, down here, you have this gun attachment that you can't change the angle of, but you can just rotate that side to side, although you kind of just want it to be straight like that, right? If you zoom in real close, you can see that that's actually a little kind of uh, Gatling gun there or something, but you can remove that little tip off the end of there and then replace that with this little spike bit like that if you wanted to have that on there, sort of like very sharp little nail kind of thing coming out of there. And then of course this could also be removed and just have this attached onto your arm or something, whatever, just as a separate weapon kind of thing on its own. You can kind of change the position of this too if you want to have that a little bit more higher up inside the shield so it's not necessarily sticking out quite so much at the bottom of there. That's very cool. And the shield itself is made up of a few different sections here. So you've got this top part, bottom part, and each of the side parts as well. So I'll just change the position of this handle here on the back. Now you could have it uh, just like this, like that, or, you know, obviously, of course, take off these pieces off the side of here. And you've got this piece here that you can stick in the middle between them to make this into your small type shield. Just little guy like that. And then we do have another handle. So you've got a few different handles that you can use for kind of any of these, but this just small, simple handle there like that, that you can then have attached onto here. Like so, you can change the angle of that, you can rotate that, have that up or down. And you also have two of this type of connection piece as well too, which is basically just plugging onto there. And this is meant to just attach onto your arm so you can open this or close it. And it's not necessarily, as far as I know, meant to attach onto any particular arm. So, you know, as I don't know how well this is going to hold on to the arm, for example, of whatever your kit you're sticking this onto, but that will just, that's just meant to close around the arm, but it probably won't be very tight fit unless you modify this or something in order to make it, you know, specifically fit onto the arm that you want it to fit on, but that is an option. You do have two of these as well. So if you wanted to have the shield split up and have like one on each arm, you've got two of this type of connection. And there's a top part of the shield that we took off there as well. I mean, you could have this on its own using that uh, handle connection piece. So like this one that I've got here on the back of this one is the same type of handle piece uh, that I stuck on there. The smaller one before, so you've got two of these basically. So you could have this onto there for just a smaller type shield or stick these back together without the two uh, side parts. You need to once again readjust this connection piece on the back to hold them together. But then you could just have this longer, thinner shield like that, for example. 
uh, and then keep this one off to the side as a separate piece. But I mean, aside from these different shield parts that you can mix and match and do all sorts of fun stuff with, you do also have a couple of other weapons thrown in there for good measure. So we've got this uh, just combat knife here, which is just very simple like that, just one piece. But then we have this connection piece for it for you to be able to mount this onto wherever. You just plug that onto the back skirt or the side of the leg or wherever you want to plug that. And then the same thing here for this tiny little pistol as well too, which is very small. I can already tell that for 100 scale kits, this is going to be too small, definitely, with the knife. I mean, the shield, I think, is going to be probably a good fit for 100 scale type stuff, but this one definitely looks very, very small. So if you're trying to pair this up with anything 100 scale, probably not going to be quite right. But the connection piece for this one just plugs right onto there like that, and then you can plug this onto wherever you want on the kit for storage. So you have a lot of different stuff. And then we also have a couple of more little connection pieces here, just little mail to mail connection pieces that you can use for however you might need to use those. But as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff that you can do with these. I'm only gonna be able to show you a few different options, but let me go ahead and do that. I'll try to show you, give you guys an idea of what you can do with this stuff. So while the one thing that's great about the set is that you have a lot of versatility with the shield and how you want to use that, and then you have the knife and the handgun weapons in there as well, you get a lot in this. Uh, on the downside, the holding the shield can be a bit tricky uh, with the only relying on the handle. Uh, if you have a kit like, say, a particular Gundam kit or anything, pretty much any kit where you're not able to also plug the shield onto the arm, basically a shield uh, connected into the hand is, is, in kind of any case, is only so good. It's really best when it's connected onto the arm as well too. And without this necessarily being able to connect onto the arm of a lot of kids, it's going to be a little bit tricky to hold in the hand with the steady hand. So basically, you need either a hand that's got a really tight grip on the handle, or you need to make some sort of arm connection in there as well too, to make sure you, that you can pose this well and the shield's not like flopping all over the place. But uh, assuming you can get one of those two things set up, you know, a good solid hand on the grip or an arm connection in there as well too, then uh, I think there's a lot to enjoy about this kit. And it's very easy to do either one of those things, either even if you have to make some modifications, if you have to modify a uh, custom connection to the arm or a modify the hand to make it tighter on the grip. Either way, it's easy, to, easy enough to sort out. And again, the size and the versatility of this, I think, makes it uh, another one of those option sets that can be well suited for pretty much anything. 144 skill Gunpla, 100 skill Gunpla, you know, Frame Arms Girl, Megami Device, these type of Mecha Musume kits, as well as Frame Arms. Uh, uh, Hexagear, again, it kind of depends on the kit. Hexagear is kind of a, an odd line. So this stuff is all compatible with Hexagear stuff, of course. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, if it's like well suited for that, kind of depends on which Hexagear kit we're talking about. But anyway, it's, it's, all, it's all good. Anything, pretty much anything from Kotobukiya is compatible. But of course, if you guys do have any other further questions about this set, do feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out uh, any of the different MSG option weapons and things that we have there from Kotobukiya and Bandai and everything else, you can check the link to USA Gundam Store down in the video description below, as well as my coupon code there for you guys to use if you'd like to as well. And again, guys, just thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. Until next time, I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.